So Jeremy, in this lecture, we're going to talk about the 12 Agile principles. Okay. So we talked about the four values, mm -hmm. right? But these are a little bit more elaborate guidelines for us to make decision in our day-to-day -day life when we are developing software. Okay. So here you go. We'll just talk about the first principle. The number one is delivering value faster. What, it, what it's saying is, you know, in the waterfall world where most of people come from, you know, there is the requirement gathering and requirement validation, and then you do the design and the development and the testing, and then it goes to prod. Sure. It takes forever. It's before, a long pull. <laughs> yeah, a few months before a customer can realize, see any kind of value in the product. Mm -hmm. And even when customer uses this product after six months, they might find a lot of things they might not even like. So it's not valuable. So what this principle is saying is, you show them the value early on. You, you work for maybe two, three, four weeks and you build a vertical slice of a feature and you put that in the hands of a customer and say, customer uses, what do you think about this? And that is what this principle is trying to say. Awesome. All right, so that's the first one. Deliver value faster. All right, what about number two? The second one is welcome chain even in the later phase of the software development. This is a reference to the waterfall world where you know, once you lock in the requirements and give it to the developers, you can really change the requirements. Very difficult. Very difficult, right? So here what they're saying is, think about giving an advantage to the customer. Think mm -hmm. about working with the customer. You're literally partnering with the customer. You're asking them. When the customer comes to you, he might have an idea of what he wants. But it's unfair for us to lock his ideas down because it's, it's so much early on in the development. He doesn't even know what he wants. He's making right? a lot of guesses, right? Yeah, he's making a lot of guesses. So what we're saying is, okay, let's just start with some of the highest priority items that you know. We'll, we'll work on that and we'll allow you to change in maybe a month, two months. And we're doing this because the market is very competitive. Out there, people are producing software right away sure. in a few days to a few weeks, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to adapt to the competitive market out there and we want to serve the customer in a way where we're not locking them into the initial requirements. And even though you know, we have a great plan, things always happen. So it's, it's more important for us to respond to that change or respond to that crisis mm -hmm. than just following the plan. Yeah, and I think every project I've ever been a part of, Agile or Waterfall or anything, basically what you know at the beginning, even after you've gathered some requirements, compared to what you know halfway through the project is yeah. a big difference. Because you adapt, you learn, you yeah. understand a lot of different things as you get started, but it really takes getting started to learn that. So that's number two. How about the third Agile principle? The third one is deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with a preference to a shorter time scale. So the key word to identify is working software. So it's not saying develop a lot of uh, requirements mm -hmm. or a lot of design documents have some kind of working software every few weeks and iterate. So this principle talks about if you take a time box of three weeks and in that three weeks we say we're gonna work on these three features mm -hmm. and we're gonna get this done done and this is full-fledged working. This is not just done, this is done done. This can, be, this can go to production mm -hmm. and we can receive feedback from the customer. So another thing that you know, this principle says is, it, it, it's not very explicit, it says a couple of weeks to a couple of months. Where you're at in your Agile journey, you can maybe decide on that duration. I personally, I prefer two weeks because it's not one week where it's too tight, it's really hard to produce a vertical slice, mm -hmm. but it's also not one month where people literally forget what happened in that month, right? So two yeah. weeks is kind of that sweet spot where teams can focus on building a fully functional um, features. And that makes a lot of sense. A lot of teams that I've worked in have been two weeks, a couple have been three weeks. Yeah, and, so, then, and then again, so, at, so this is not very really prescriptive. Now, if you look at one of the scrum models, it says one to four weeks, right? But this one says few weeks to few months. So the agile as a mindset, mm -hmm. the mindset is have working software and iterate. Gotcha. And it doesn't really prescribe on how, what is that exact uh, iteration or time box is going to look like. 